Now, although this Diet T-Rex looks like it was dipped in a can of white paint, that is real and sometimes alligators come out white. This extremely rare one in a million phenomenon comes in a lot of different animal species as well, such as the not so king king of the jungle, the lion. The real king of the jungles, the tiger, you don't even live in the jungle. The most venomous nope rope in the animal kingdom, the king cobra. Everybody's favorite plastic bag eater, the sea turtle. The living leather submarine, whales. Every orca and leopard seal's favorite dessert, penguins. And everybody's favorite roid reindeer, the moose, or meeses, or moss, I don't fucking know, moosesies. These animals are actually leucistic, not always albino. Albino would be a complete loss of pigmentation in the skin alongside red eyes. However, leucistic animals have only a partial loss of pigmentation. Besides being one of the coolest and rarest conditions you can have as an animal and looking like the Ferrari for your fucking species, this does come with its problems. Now although some animals are the prey and others are the predator, they all come with built-in camouflage allowing them to hide from their special counterpart. That's because their rare condition causes them to stand out like a man walking around TJ Maxx that can't find his wife. With that being said, I'm sure you can imagine why these animals' life expectancy is only 24. But Mr. Snail King, 24 what? Days? Months? Years? 24 fucking hours, which means not only were you the most lucky, but also the most unlucky animal on the planet. But that's still not the only challenge that comes along with this condition. Say for example, you're one of these animals and you don't get eaten and somehow survive to adulthood because it does happen. Much like humans, the lighter your skin, the more likely you are to get sunburn. It's like their camouflage colored counterparts, reptiles need to bask and the problem for these guys is they don't have enough color in their skin to allow them to avoid getting sunburn. It might just be me, but I think these animals make other animals look store brand. It doesn't just stop with animals either, plants can lose pigment too. The problem for these plants is they can't survive on their own because they can't get enough nutrients from the sun due to their lack of color. However, much like this not so red redwood, it steals most of its nutrients from its neighboring counterpart. These shouldn't be white white plants also are connected to a shoot from another neighboring plant of the same species and it actually sucks the nutrients out of those plants because they're able to get it. But I know what you're thinking. Yes, all black animals also exist. They're known as melanistic. And if you want a video on these, let me know in the comments below. But for today, that's all I got. Peace.